Hi, I'm Matt. Hey there, I'm Bianca. And we are from Club Sapphire, and I can't help but notice the fact that, like, if someone looked really hard, they'd be able to see the the pasties that you have underneath your top there. Yeah. Because, you know, you want to keep within the YouTube rules by not showing your nipples. Right. So that's, no that's nipples. better, better safe than girl. sorry. You're, you are a good girl. <laughs> um, so, you know, we, we talk a lot about conversation starters. We do. So you have a conversation starter? I totally do. Oh, perfect. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> okay, yeah. So your your pineapple drink cup. Yes. Well, so, you know, it's 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 funny. Conversation starters are something that are really really important in the lifestyle just to break the ice. Right. And right. and once you break the ice of actually going up to that other couple and starting a conversation about anything at all, then it's easy. Right. It's easy, but it's like there, people are always scared about just oh, do I should how do I how do I how start do I? a conversation mm -hmm. with them? And all it takes is something simple. And this is something that we we actually used to see uh, a lot lot more at Club Sapphire, but we don't really anymore. And no. and I and I I was watching an old video that we had done for something else years ago, uh, two years ago, and we had actually mentioned that uh, at Club Sapphire we had seen a lot of people with their own cups, and we're like, why don't we do that? Mm -hmm. Because that's a really good idea. Because I guarantee you, so that we just brought this. We haven't gone to the to the event yet. Um, it's but honestly, it's not even I, I guarantee it. When you have alcohol in there, people are going to come up to you and go, "Oh my God, that cup's amazing!" Mm -hmm. And because it's pineapple on the the upside down pineapple connotations of yeah. of the lifestyle. You were trying to get me to figure out how to like carry it like this, but then I'd have to like. Just it'd be like was a hamster thingy, which is sexy, which oh, is, yeah. is very sexy when you drink like that. So we'll we'll have to figure out how to readjust it so that you can somehow make it an upside down pineapple. But um, conversations are our starters are important, and drink cups like personalized ones are a really really good way to do that. Yeah, there's lots of things with you know outfits and tattoos sure. and all those things that we have talked about in the past. But I'm now that we've talked about it. Yeah, I mean, you went out and got this, but now I'm like, okay, I gotta go online and I gotta find some some ridiculous blingy cup that has like lights flashing mm -hmm. on it. a goblet, <laughs> like a rapper goblet. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, yes, that would be amazing <laughs> for your soda <laughs> for, for my diet coke that i'm drinking that's right because i'm a wild man that you way are. Um, <laughs> uh yeah so i'm i'm totally gonna do that because it's you know we've talked about this before but as a woman it's very very easy for you to have a lot going on with that people can start a conversation with oh i can't help but notice that you have Apple pasties on underneath your shirt there because <laughs> I'm looking at your breasts. Uh -huh. That's I don't know. That's a, that's a conversation shoes. starter. Cute, cute shoes. Cute shoes. I, I like your shoes. shoes. Yeah, that's that's a good one. Mm -hmm. uh, or we've talked about actually that the husband, uh, a man, can go up to a woman and actually say, "Those are amazing shoes. Where did you get them? My wife would love those." Mm -hmm. That's a, that's a, that's a good one um, because you know that's a, it's just a good way to start a conversation. Right. Uh, and so there are lots of different ways to do it, but this as a guy receiving that is very difficult. Mm -hmm. um, I was actually at the gym yesterday and someone commented, a woman came up to me and complimented me on my shirt because it said something about, uh, uh, it's the mountain one. Um, live, live, like live like the mountains, mountains out. out. Live like the mountains out, which is, you know, a reference in Seattle to the fact that when it's a nice day, you can see Mount Rainier. And it's like, that's just a very positive attitude. I don't think she was necessarily hitting on me, but if she was, great. But the point <laughs> the point is that it was a conversation started to a guy, and guys don't really receive those very often. So if there are things like that, this amazing cup that can be used uh, to, uh, if a guy's holding them so that women or men, whatever, will come up and actually start this conversation. Well, and something you've used in the past as a conversation starter is what you're drinking. Because he loves like fruity girly drinks. <laughs> I do. Well, we're talking <laughs> so, such great things about me: Diet Coke and fruity girly drinks. That's, that is. You want that? I love you, baby. Yeah, that's. Uh, yeah. So like he'll he actually does like to have the um, the drink that he drinks. Um, because a lot of women are always like, what is that? That's and true. will be like, here, have a sip. Like, That's true. I do like the girly drinks. And so when we're at bars, you know, I don't know, bartenders are making fun of me or whatever, but they'll, you know, make it as, as feminine as possible with the little umbrellas and it's pink and orange or whatever, all the, the, the super sugary ones. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I love them. They taste delicious. It's, 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 it's you know, it's delicious. Um, but yes, women will come up to me and, and specifically ask me what I'm drinking and then I can offer them a sip or whatever it might be. And it works great. Yeah. I mean, that wasn't my original plan of why I started to drink drinks like that, but you should drink drinks like that because as a guy, if I'm drinking a boring beer, that's not a conversation starter, mm -hmm. but some drink with, 
three umbrellas and the straws and all the umbrellas <laughs> in a coconut or whatever <laughs> all the umbrellas people will start that conversation and that's all that it takes to get the conversation going mm -hmm. yeah all right so we did have a question that came in for you bianca that i did i did want to hear what your uh, what your opinion was all right how does a woman hand a man a condom without knowing his size so as not to insult him okay see so, now i don't know if this is a question for me or more for you because <laughs> wait, wait, are you saying they're gonna hand me a small one? Or? <laughs> well, what what <laughs> ha, like? Okay, so I, I do. I think this is more if 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 you don't know his size or girth or whatever, you've never met the man, mm -hmm. and you're just like and like me, I have to bring my own condoms because mm -hmm. I can't use regular condoms. I need latex free. Right. Um. What if I hand him the big one and he's like, oh. <laughs> I need a different size. I need a different size. Like, is that going to make him uncomfortable? Or do I just always hand him the small one? Uh -huh. And if he's like, oh, no, baby, I need the bigger one. You got well, the extra large. Like, do I let that up for him? Or do I hand him both and let him choose? Like, I don't want him to... Because I personally don't have issue with size. Like, for me, it's like it's all about what you do with it and that. Like, right. really, truly, honestly. Mm -hmm. I and think that's the case with most women in life. Yeah. I mean, there are some women that specifically like, I need the big penises. Right. But, but I, I've been it's, with men yeah. who are larger, and I've been with men who aren't, and mm -hmm. I have great times with everybody. So, yeah. um, but I don't, if they're, if I don't want to make them feel like they think that I'm trying to get it like I don't know I don't want to make them men already have so much going on in their heads mm -hmm. that like trying to keep it up and and all that kind of stuff that it's like I yeah I don't know what is the right answer do I hand you both do I hand you the smaller one and then you can upgrade if you want to well I think that's actually going to be the case because I I mean I, I definitely can think of situations where I've been in the heat of the moment with a woman or women uh and uh um, they're like getting it ready, mm -hmm. like like they're you know getting ready, and they'll they'll grab just a regular sized condom because honestly, probably I don't know what the percentage is, but I would say probably like eighty percent of men would wear a regular sized condom, right. uh, and so I wouldn't be insulted by that. Um, I also, I mean, I you know there are some well, no, there are some men that have giant direction. penises, but I think it's going the other direction. Like you wouldn't be insulted because you have a larger one, so uh, so I wouldn't be insulted. Well, no, that you'd be, would... you'd be the guy who's like, no, I need a super sized condom. But I'm talking <laughs> about the guy like that Thank doesn't you. need the super sized condom, right? Like, how do you hand that to him? You just hand him a regular sized. Like it, you would hand. Well, that's what I'm saying. Is you okay, hand so we'll everyone hand hand a regular sized guy a regular sized one and an, and a giant guy unless. You've seen it already, or you're, right. you know, the guy pulls it out, and you're, and the thing is like a Coke can, <laughs> and you're like, that thing is gonna break if I put that on there. So let me hand you like, the, how about one of those female condoms? That'll probably go on there, because <laughs> that thing's like huge. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that would be really the only situation where you would need to, unless, I mean, you know, from a woman's perspective, mm -hmm. you could, I mean. If you're giving the guy, I mean, usually oral happens first. Not always. Not always. Not always, but usually whatever type of oral, whether it's the guy giving the girl or the girl well, giving yeah, the guy. But the more guy's often going it's down both. on the girl. She can't see it. Well, I've been with guys where they've gone down on me, yep. and then all of a sudden they're like ready to go. They don't want a oral necessarily, so I have no idea so, what he's going to put okay, in. Okay, so in that situation, I mean, obviously you know that he's putting on a condom. Yeah. Okay. Um, and you have the latex allergy, so at that point you would say. Hey, I need a latex-free one, and if he says I don't have one, then you hand him. You, I okay. mean, you you could be. I mean, a, a clue right there is what is he putting on? Mm -hmm. If he's putting on a giant, you know, the magnums or whatever. Okay, he has a larger one. So you have, mm -hmm. uh, or I actually I have because you never have pockets. I keep them in my pockets. <laughs> uh, the latex-free ones for if we end up playing with another couple um, that are. Well, I have a regular size and a large size mm -hmm. of the latex-free ones, um, so that you're ready for either situation that might come up because we don't know. Mm -hmm. You know, you might you might have a coke can penis come up and and then uh, and then actually I don't have condoms for that. So <laughs> <laughs> you put two together. I don't I don't know what you do. Um, but, uh, uh, yeah, so it's okay that in those situations that you could just flat out tell a guy, you know, because yes, there are a lot of guys that are just raring to go and they just grab whatever and they just start putting it on and then you just stop them. But uh, right. we've, we've been in situations where they're, I mean, I've been putting on a regular one and some the woman will say, oh, I need a latex free. And if I don't have one on me, 
the the odds are she does. Right. Um, because if you have that allergy, the odds are you're you're going to make sure that that you can still play. Yeah. I mean, it's not worth the risk of you know you being messed up downstairs for a week or whatever because you had an allergic reaction. Right. So you know being prepared is a good thing. But as far as the size is concerned, I I, I can't imagine. I can't imagine being insulted. I guess uh, maybe if I had like a like a like a, a really Tiny. small one yeah. and someone handed me a really large one that, mm -hmm. that obviously wasn't going to work. Mm -hmm. um, that I guess that could be insulting. But I but I think I think in the situation of uh, you know ninety percent of the time, just an average size one would 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 be. F I mean, I have yes, I have a larger than average size, and I just wanted to say that one of the ones. Um, <laughs> but, he loves to say that. <laughs> but a regular one will fit on me. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just, it's not particularly comfortable, but it'll still fit on me. Um, there are, yes, there are some people, and I've seen them, and you've been with them, that a regular size one would not work. Um, but I think most, I mean, condoms, you've uh, you've probably seen the videos where someone will stick, like, their whole arm inside of a condom. Oh, and they, that's true. They, they do, they yeah. do expand, but if they constrict uh, the penis, then the penis isn't going to have a good time. Right. So, and we don't want that. No, we, we don't. don't. We don't. <laughs> I want that. We want so, a good time. Yeah. For so, all. so I, I, yeah. From from a guy's perspective, I would honestly say in that situation that that uh, just are, you know be be ready for the regular. But if you have an allergy, then or even if you didn't have allergies, have the bigger size ready. If there's a you know a brand that you like or whatever it might be, um, to have both sizes. Um, I think they have condoms for the really small ones too, but I don't. I th they might be th th those, no, those are just pinky cods. Finger cods. Finger cods. Finger cods. Yeah, Remember if you get a cut on your finger. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So maybe that isn't for sex. I don't, Probably not. Yeah. I don't. I, I don't know. Hmm. Okay. So, what are your favorite theme nights? Would you say at Sapphire? Oh gosh, there's so many. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. I I I just. I like getting dressed up. Sure. Um, they had once they had Alice in Wonderland. That was really fun. Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. Oh man. I wore blue lingerie and then, like a black bow in my hair. And so it was like the whole play. Well, I don't remember. Was I there? I don't know. You were there. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then, so the whole thing was Alice in Wonderland. Like everybody was Alice in Wonderland. That was, was the theme. Was Alice. That's Wonderland. cool. Yeah. I don't remember that at all. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Um, I feel like people were dressed up like Cheshire cats mm -hmm. and, and that kind of stuff too. So it was kind of like fun because it was like Halloween, but not. Sure. Well, and speaking of Halloween. Halloween is coming up. Yes, it is. Uh, so we're so, already like trying to figure out our costumes. Exactly. So so and I and I know that I've already heard that Halloween is almost sold out. So uh, so you know if you have not at the very least registered online for Halloween. So Halloween, in case you didn't know, Halloween and New Year's Eve are the lifestyle Good. holidays they are the they are the events the people that don't play ever will come out th for those holidays mm -hmm. because that is just that's that's what you do yeah. and the way halloween is set up this year uh, actually at sapphire is it's four nights that they've got four going on four crazy yeah. nights it's like, uh, can you believe it four friday saturday sunday and then the following wednesday actually is halloween yeah. so they're just i mean it's going to be just crazy. crazy but you know the saturday night before uh, uh before halloween of course is the big the event one, yeah, yeah. Uh, and that one is the one that will sell out because everybody goes out for that event yeah. so we gotta so, get our tickets yeah 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 no that's that's right i'm glad we talked about it because we need to <laughs> we need to be on the list too because that is what we'll, we'll be there we'll like be there one of our favorite nights ever yeah any idea what you're gonna be at no i'm uh, i i've got an idea okay. but i haven't fully i actually thought of it while i was in the shower getting ready tonight so oh I perfect talk to you about it okay well if you have any <laughs> ideas on what she should wear for halloween or what i should wear for halloween or what we shouldn't wear if yeah um you know, make sure you comment below we'd, we'd love to hear that and uh, what are some of your favorite halloween costumes that you've seen at lifestyle events i'd, I'd love to yeah love to see those and hear those um uh, you know, I'd, I, I'm just trying to think about all the different Halloween events that we've been to over the years, uh, and I mean, and they just get better. It's just, it's, it's just one of those holidays that's just really cool in the lifestyle. It's because so even in the fun. vanilla world, women dress like sluts on on Halloween. <laughs> so, so it's like in the lifestyle. I mean, we we step it up a notch. So yeah, yeah, yeah no, it's. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I yeah, I I like I like the naughty schoolgirl night, but Halloween is just like just my eyes are everywhere That's well and it's just so much fun yeah because everybody's everybody dresses up like not everybody dresses up for all the other theme nights because you mm -hmm. you know dress up or don't dress up whatever but for halloween pretty much everybody's dressed up in some way and exactly it's, it's so much fun yeah so make sure that you come and make sure you dress up and make sure that if you see us come well, us, say come hi come find us and say <laughs> hi because we'll be there because we, we oh, love yeah. halloween yeah, yeah, yeah. so for uh sure. and with that make sure that you do follow club sapphire uh on facebook that's really important uh and of course you know share 
share Sapphire with everybody. Uh, you you have a lifestyle account. The odds are so you know. Make sure that you just share our our posts occasionally share these videos uh, on there too and then the more people that know about the lifestyle the more people that know about these videos the more people that know about sapphire the more people that come the more people that you get to have sex with so that isn't i think that's how it works right oh my goodness it, it, something along those amazing. lines uh it's it's that simple sign me up <laughs> it's actually, so, uh, and of course go to www clubsapphire.net. Perfect. You I got it. it. You got I it. Got there it. You go. Are you keeping track? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, check out some of the events that are coming up besides yes, Halloween and New calendar. Year's. Uh, there are always, always awesome nights to come here For and sure. meet people and be social. This place, we, you know, we, we talk about sex a lot, but really more than anything, it's a social club oh. and you're going to make some amazing friends here the more often that you come. So please do come yeah. and Meet, and make some friends. And come and, and come. Come in different spellings. All That's sorts of coming. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> Perfect. Anything else you want to say? You're so cute. Thank you. I'll, I, I'll take that if that's... Okay. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I want to go play now. Okay, we'll do that. We're going to go play. Uh, you uh, go and uh, play with your spouse. Why not? Okay, we'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye. Bye.